Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, we will explore the section everywhere in Shopify Store 2.0. This is a developer guide and we will explore and see how section everywhere works and the new team is structured in Shopify teams. So let's start. Uh, here I am in the browser and this is the store that we have served in the previous video. If I come to my code editor, this is the team we have created. In the team directory, if you check, uh, unlike other old Shopify team, in the template directory, you have templates which has extension of .json. Now .json is a new thing in Shopify, which means you can create two types of template. Either the data on the template is dynamic, or let's say it is static. I put it this way, but basically both of them are dynamic. If you want the section everywhere to work on a template, you must give your template.json extension. That is a requirement. Uh, this is how so, uh, like section everywhere is going to work. All the sections you have in here will be accessible to the templates that have a JSON extension. So you create your section in the section directory, you design it, you put everything in here, and then you can use the same section to the 404 page, to the article page, uh, to the cart page, product page, anywhere you want, uh, except the cart page which is separate, like uh, the gift card page. Now here is the thing, you have a product.json and you can have another template also for the product page, but the name of them should be different. So you cannot have a product.json and product.liquid at the same time. So let's create and see how it is going to work. I'm going to create the product.liquid in here and once you create this one, if you open your terminal, it is going to give you an error. Like this is already, it already exists with JSON extension. So if you're creating another type of template, make sure you give it another name. So for example, you can give it um, product.classic and now this classic, or let's say, um, let's, let's put it another name. Let's say product.old which was the old way of creating product. Now this one is completely empty, but you can directly like attach section in here, but those are not going to be dynamic. Now you have a product.json, which is by default, and you have product.old, which is a, an alternative template. Now this should work just fine. Now the other thing that you have to know is, you have like cart page here, you cannot have card.liquid or anything because card is one, you have one card and you can have, uh, you can assign only one card in here. But if you open this JSON template, this is the data that you have here. This is how it is going to work. Uh, when you create the section in the section directory, you use it in this template. This template is, is storing only the data for that section. For example, you have a section which the name of the section is called cart item and this is the type of it. I am going to find this section. If you open the section directory here, the, um, you scroll down, look for the main cart item. This is the main cart item section. And this section, the data of this one, will be used in, the, our, in our cart template in here. I'll open both of them in here. And now what is the other uh, section? Uh, this is called uh, cart footer and the name of that is main cart footer. At the bottom, this is the order. You can arrange it and now let's see how we are going to do this one. I'll go directly to the browser. From here, we will pick uh, the cart page which we had in the example. We have one product in here. Now I can click add section and all of these sections are available for us. Now I can pick uh, image with text. When you, once you pick this one, it should appear at the bottom in here. Let's open this image, the teapot, and this is how it works. Once you save it, the data for this one will be uh, saved in this directory. Since it is local, it is not reflecting in my local environment, but basically on live environment, it is going to reflect it. So if you run your theme sync next time, you should have the updated version of it. Now I'll come back and see, I will add one more. Let's say multi-column, it will add this multi-column, I'll save it. Now here is how the order is going to work. Now you can rearrange them, when you once you put it up there, the order in here will change. 
and that is how basically section everywhere works so next time you create a template for the product page for a blog page for an article page you just give it a json extension and as usual you just go to the section directory create your section put a name for it and put a type for it for example you have header like this one let's see if you have access to the header in here you don't have because those se some sections are not available everywhere like header and footer they are used once and they are not available everywhere if you check the schema you will understand that so for now that is basically how section everywhere is going to work now the product that, that we have created in here where is this template it is not related to the video but you should be able to access that template in here if you come to the product you see this old one you can pick this one and it is indicating that zero product is assigned to this template you can assign more template uh, more product to a template in the future videos which i will show you but for now this is all you have to know and this is how section everywhere is going to work you just have to uh, give your template the json extension I hope it has been informative. Uh, thank you for watching and in the next videos I am going to explore more of this section everywhere and also metaphors. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.